Hi, I'm Mark from Wedge Clamp Systems, and today we're going to review the MicroSpot uh, Dent Repair Station from Solidus with my friend Bianca. And we're going to actually do a little repair on a 3 Series BMW, and there's a little ding on the wheel well here, and Bianca's already carved out a little bit of the, the paint off there, and then she's created the little ground spot. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the back of the MicroSpot, and we're going to turn the power on. And just so everyone knows, this uh, tool is uh, plugs into a 110 outlet, so it's not 220, it's just a 110, so it can be done anywhere in the body shop. On this side of the, uh, the micro spot, we've got the ground. We're going to show you how to connect the ground. And then on the other side, we've got the actual power uh, gun. So Bianca, um, and then what we're going to do is, we're gonna s you've got your dial here for power. We always set the ground at 10, and then we repair at about, you know, six to seven, somewhere in there. Okay, so right now we'll just dial it up to 10 and Bianca will set the ground. So she grabs the power gun and the ground. And all she does is she pushes them together. So the ground goes right on the panel, the area that she's sand, uh, sanded off. She pushes them together and that's it. Ground is set, she can pull it away. That's it. Ground is set and we're good to repair. Now it's very important to have a good ground because obviously that's going to dictate all the, uh, the connections of the slide hammer and the, the keys and all the little attachments you're going to use. So in this case, she's going to grab the slide hammer for this repair. She attaches it to the end of the power gun, just tightens it up there. You just have to do hand tight. You don't have to go crazy the other way. Perfect. All she's going to do is push it into the dent. It's the power, and then she can start using the slide. Take the slide hammer off and just give it a little twist. If you get any popping like that, all that typically is, is a little bit of the E-coat or paint is still on the steel. Again, it doesn't, does not burn the back of the panel, it's just a surface, a little bit of a surface burn. That's it. Repair is done, ready for a very thin coat of icing and uh, ready for paint. Now to remove the ground, all you do is you release the, lift it up, give it a little twist, and off it comes. And again, very, very, you can't even really even see where the ground happened there. So that's it. On the next video, uh, we're gonna go over the little attachments and how to apply the keys and the bridge. Thanks, we'll talk soon.